Well, our days can get pretty busy, and in today's world, it's not always easy to eat locally. No, or eat organic for that matter. Our David Kaplan joining us this morning from a new restaurant in Center County that wants to make eating good food a whole lot easier. David, good to see you. Got your, uh, you got your lemonade again there this morning, your ginger <laughs> lemonade. Looks good. Ginger, also honey, ginger, honey, lemonade. Casey, can't get enough of this. My spot of tea. <laughs> uh, here at Ree Farm Cafe at Windswept Farm in State College. It's Patton Township. And I have composer Brittany here. Don't you guys love that? They call them composers here because they really are orchestrating the food. So c while composer Laura is behind us making this dish, composer Brittany is going to talk to us about what she's making. Today we are making a Reef Farm Cafe sausage cabbage wrap with farm vegetables. Uh, we have Laura's Italian sausage, it's delicious. Uh, she's sauteing that up right now into patties. We have our red cabbage from our farm. Uh, we are gonna saute some onions and mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. And we will top it with our kohlrabi slaw, everything from our farm, some red peppers, and some cilantro. So like things, food here at Reef Farm Cafe, most of this mm -hmm. is from here at the farm, yes. and what is not from here is from other local farms. Yes, exactly. Uh, we get as local as we can. Uh, the shiitake mushrooms actually come from Laura's uh, shiitake logs, and everything else is literally from our farm. The pork for the sausage is from our pigs, so everything is really right from our backyard. And talk about what you folks do. It's kind of unconventional but uh, unique huh? of you folks will be making the food. So it's not really like hibachi, like you were saying, but you'll be making the food in front of the people and you can answer questions they have. Exactly. What we do is we actually approach the tables at the beginning of service and we give them a treat. Uh, it could be, range from blistered shishito peppers from our farm or a nice small bite-sized dish that we compose for them. Uh, and it's been a real treat to see the looks on their faces when the composers actually approach their table and talk to them about everything they'll be doing. Uh, I was nervous at first. It's definitely different. We're used to being in the back of the house, and this has really turned into a wonderful experience. And so, awesome. The goal is really to inspire folks, help them know mm -hmm. how they can eat locally, how they can eat healthy and organically, so they can also do it at home, right? Yes, exactly. They can watch us, see what we're doing. They can ask questions. That's the beauty of it. Is at any point they can approach us composers and ask us to show them or explain to them what it is we're doing and how. Excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. Really appreciate it. So Casey and Maggie, this is just for the 5.30. We're going to be back in here for the 6.30, making more food. I'm sorry to do this to you guys. I know early in the morning you're <laughs> starving, right? I'm just killing you guys with all this I good know. food. But we'll send you guys some back. Uncle Bill. Uh, okay. Uncle Bill coming yeah, through. Our stomachs are, are <laughs> grumbling right now. Uncle Bill's shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the composers thing. I love com the, the, how they're, they're called composers, David. That's know, a nice little really tidbit cool there. Awesome stuff. David Kaplan, live for us this morning. Thank you, sir. Cheers Appreciate to you guys. It. Cheers to you.